guys, today I'm going to be talking about belly birth scars, cesarean scars, um, surgical scars. Everyone's going to have a different um, term and feeling around their belly birth. I like to call it a belly birth, so apologies in advance if it offends anybody, but I quite like it, kind of quite uh, warming and wholesome um, and homey. Um, so people are going to have different feelings about their scars and it's really important for myself as a coach to respect that and I think as a society to respect that. Some people have planned their cesarean births for various reasons. Maybe they had a traumatic time uh, the first time and opted for a cesarean birth the second time. Um, maybe it was a, a fear thing. Maybe a trauma had happened where they did not want anybody down near their genitalia like that's a possibility. So it's really important that when talking about a scar, um, for everybody, there's different feelings behind it. Um, for those that have had an emergency belly birth or emergency cesarean, again, there could be various uh, build up to that. Um, it could have been a really long labor leading up to that. Um, and then having, you know, to end the birth with surgery that they did not expect it can actually be quite traumatic for some people. So as I'm talking about the scar, I hope I don't offend anybody. Um, I hope this is more just information that's inclusive and help. So a, a, a cesarean scar, any scar, any any scar will build up um, uh, scar tissue um, because you're going through various layers. And when you're having a cesarean birth or belly birth, there are about seven layers that you're getting through. And it's not just the scar that we see. There's many layers in actually many different directions. Also, not all scars sit low. Some sit higher, some sit above the belly button. Um, and also some go vertical. So it's not always down by that pubic um, area, okay? Um, so as well, how it feels may feel different for some people and how long it takes to heal may be uh, different for some people. Um, because of that, because of the severity of this major surgery, that's what I'm gonna call it, because it is, um, it's really important that we respect the body and take that rest. Um, the six weeks healing is really purely just the scar on like a superficial level of the healing. Um, after three or four weeks of a kind of a, a non-complicated cesarean birth, um, the outside layer of skin will probably be healed, but you've got to remember there's a lot going on inside. So it may, um, you may feel fine, but you still may need to take a little bit of extra rest. Um, we'll just really gradually get back into any form of movement. Um, so when talking around the scar, as I said, there's different reasons for people having the scar. Ultimately, yes, it's to get a baby out. Um, but again, leading up to it, um, if there's any trauma surrounding the, the um, situation, again, it's really important to respect that um, for yourself um, and towards others. Um, so when it comes to healing and movement and core and how to regain that strength through your core after you've been severed effectively, um, so what we have is a chain. We have a chain that runs from our adductor across the body diagonally up towards our internal and external obliques. We call that our anterior oblique slings. So the anterior of our body is the front and then obliques is the kind of that wraps that the, is the side and then it joins to that adductor. So what's happened is that line has actually been cut. So it's really important that we try and rebuild that to allow us to feel strong and uh, move better and move and just move easier. So what happens not sometimes is that that the scar tissue can build up and it sticks which means every time you try and stand up, every time you're trying to do a pelvic tilt, every time you try and bend down, it's sticking um, through those various layers and that can trigger back pain. It can trigger more painful periods and cycles. It can um, just uh, cause more pelvic discomfort. So it's really important that we do work through that area um, appropriately, like time appropriately. So one thing I would like, um, you guys to work on if you're if you have experienced this is textures now one is okay let me backtrack first of all looking at your scar have you looked at your scar um if you haven't maybe write down some reasons why maybe write down some reasons um how write down some things how you feel about your scar um it's very difficult to heal that core area when we can't face the situation so we have to overcome uh, our thoughts and our feelings about it positive ones and negative ones before we move on because eventually in order to get your scar to feel better and you to move better you're gonna have to touch it so it's really hard to maybe touch it when you haven't even looked at it yet um 
Again, this isn't for everyone, but this is for a, quite a high percentage of people that I do work with. So we work on talking to it, we work on looking at it, we work on, um, and I don't like the word appreciate because it just means that people, you know, I don't want you to think that you can not appreciate or appreciate it. It's more just looking at it and kind of accepting that it's there because it's now part of you forever. And it's done an amazing thing, but it's okay to kind of be annoyed by it. It's okay, I'm giving you permission to do that. Um, so what we want to do is, Get all the feelings out about the scar. Negative, positive, write it down. Um, then we affirm, you know, you can be thankful for your body, but also be kind of annoyed. You can be thankful for it and proud. You can be thankful for it and not like it. It's okay, all these feelings are valid, okay? Then what we wanna do is start working around it. Now, if the scar itself, normally you start scar tissue massage. So we do that massage and that tissue breakdown so we can move easier. We want that skin to be sliding. Now, I have not had a cesarean birth, um, so I have not experienced it. Um, I'm going based on things I've read, things I've studied, physios that I've spoken to and clients that I've worked with. Um, so again, your approach to your scar may be different to the next person. Um, once we've done that kind of mental aspect around the scar, then we work on textures. So you don't want to really start uh, hitting the actual scar for massage until at least the six to eight week mark or you've seen a physio or you've seen your doctor, your care provider. But you can work around the scar because remember, all this tissue and fascia is joined. So whatever happens up here, however loose this is, is going to affect down here as well or wherever you've had that scar. Um, so what we start with is textures desensitization um, and you can use different textures you can use cotton wool some people get icked out by cotton walls so you don't have to but you can feathers is a good one um, cotton buds is a good one um, and what you can do is start with a really soft texture and just work around the scar and around your whole belly you know your whole belly's been stretched it's gone through that trauma of being pulled apart right so getting that uh, tech that feeling back to that area by doing different textures start soft then maybe you go a little bit of a sharper texture and then maybe you get that cotton wool and then maybe you kind of run around it and see how it feels can you feel it is it sensitive does one side you can feel but you can't feel the other side then what we can do is start the massage process around the scar so emu oil um, if you are vegan and this offends you, I apologize, but it's actually really great for scars, um, more so than kind of vitamin E, but you can use coconut oil as well. Um, so what you can do is start kind of give yourself a little bit of a squirt and you can just start doing circles just like around the tummy area, circles around the tummy area. And then as you get more confident, then you can actually do little circles above the scar and below the scar around the side so you're kind of manipulating that tissue around the scar and as you become more brave and feel more confident then you can go on top of the scar and do little circles and i want you to find any sticky bits are there any points that are sticky and just not moving very well eventually it'll move better and your core will to activate better and your whole area will just feel better it will look different um i know some people use the term um kind of like that pooch that mum pooch i you know I don't normally use the term, but I'm just going based on what people say. Um, and as you, um, that little shelf that's been kind of sewn, eventually it will break down and it will become kind of like one area of tissue, okay? Like one smooth spot. Um, obviously, depending on somebody's size, it may look a bit different, but generally that's the idea. Um, once you've done circles on that scar and that feels good and you can feel extra movement, you can then go up and down. So just up and down over the scar. And you're going up and down over the scar. Try and relax the area. Try and keep that weight forward, don't stretch out. Also laying down is a bit more comfortable when you do this. Now, then what you can do is start picking up the skin above the scar. And you can start rolling above the scar. And remember, everything's connected. Even though right now I'm not directly on the scar, it's still gonna affect the whole area the way it feels, the way it looks. Then you can start getting in between those fingertips and start rolling. Again, I'm above my imaginary pretend scar. And you can do below it, you can do the side. Now, maybe it might take a couple of weeks, you may feel comfortable doing it now, depending on how postpartum you are. Um, but then eventually over the scar, you would pull the skin and you would break it down sideways. Now I know there are some of you watching this thinking like, 
this is like horror and hell to me right now, I get that. So you may not be doing this today and that's fine. You may just be stroking your belly with feathers. That's totally fine. Um, but you're working it sideways and eventually you're breaking down those adhesions. Um, and it may take a few months. It may take some time, but you'll notice that you can move better. You can breathe better. Everything activates better. You'll get stronger, quicker, more efficient and just be in less pain and less discomfort. And also improve confidence surrounding the scar if there are any confidence kind of issues going on um so i hope that was helpful um you want to stay as hydrated as possible um our body will create adhesions just from general lack of movement let alone with now with having um some form of of, of adhesion to it right? of um scar and and it being kind of severed so really important to stay hydrated use nourishing um creams and lotions around the scar on the scar eventually if anybody wants to talk to me about their scar situation and the events surrounding it you're more than welcome to call me message me um i'm completely unbiased about this whole situation uh, i would never judge anybody's thoughts um or feelings it's a very open book um so yeah if anybody wants to talk um then please just let me know um, but i hope that's helpful this is something that you can do every day okay you can do this every day maybe you just start with the circles every day and then you do up and down every day for a week build up to it there's no rush with that at all so i hope this was helpful thank you for tuning in and i'll see you guys soon